Hi, I'm Scott. Um, and wanted to share a little bit of uh, my story. Prior to finding Awaken, I had uh, been divorced. Uh, I'd been probably a few years. I had finally, uh, just through the grace of God in a way, uh, I, I can see that now. I had no idea who God and Jesus was back then. But uh, uh, I had realized that I needed to stop drinking. Uh, I was angry and uh, just kind of a terrible person for, 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 for a little period there, especially after the divorce uh, and prior to. Uh, but I had started climbing out of that hole, but there was still something missing. I had no idea what it was. Uh, you know, just this huge hole in my heart is probably the biggest way or easiest way of uh, explaining it. I found Awaken and it was just kind of instantly comfortable. Um, you know, hadn't really been to church, like, like I mentioned uh, previously, I hadn't really grown up in church, but uh, at, you know, everyone I met there was uh, uh, friendly and just seemed like normal people and uh, it was almost, it felt like family. Like, and uh, God just kept kind of pressing in. Still didn't really know who he was. And so I just started hanging out after service, uh, helping. Uh, you know, we, uh, we were at Holland Road at the time, and uh, we had to you know, fold up all the folding chairs and then put them away. And that was just kind of how things started. I started being generous with my time, which was you know, the real early stages of me walking uh, with God and trying to understand who Jesus was. I had no idea who, the, who Jesus was. And just through the course of a few months, just getting more comfortable with everybody. And then all of a sudden, I took two days off work and turned a garage into an office. And, uh, you know, it was not out of character, but, you know, it had been a long time where I'd actually sacrificed my time and money in a way because I took time off of work uh, to, uh, to help someone else. That was where uh, I feel like God really started pressing in and said, uh, I, I need more of you, so to speak. You know, so I was being generous with my time and I was given, I was given maybe uh, 50 a month or something, something, you know, that kind of embarrassing when I look back and think on it because it's probably not even a fraction of a percent of what I made. And, but that was, at, at that time, it was appropriate. And so I was, I, I was still learning. I'm still trying to figure out what, what following God meant, what being generous meant. And it, it, it was hard because, um, after my divorce, I had a mountain of debt. You know, half of a negative number is still negative, unfortunately. Uh, so it was uh, it was a struggle that God was pressing in, asking for me to be generous. You know, to to tithe, and I was I was resistant. That was probably yeah. I was I was definitely not happy with that idea. Just, just one thing led to another. Um, Awaken actually did some uh, service series kind of related to tithing and being generous. Uh, there was also, we read a book in community group to, to help uh, think about finance and, and that idea of being generous. And you can be generous to God and uh, uh, take care of yourself at the same time. Through that process, I decided I needed to attack that mountain of debt. And, and so I started figuring out how to get out from under that. At the same time, I was increasing my giving. So here I am giving money away, and I'm still getting out from under this pile of debt. And I, I, it was. I still don't understand how it happened. 
It was like the more generous I became, the easier it became to handle my finances. As I became more generous, as I started asking God, what should I do? Um, started realizing uh, just a total transformation in, uh, in my life. I, I, uh, <laughs> I really don't know how to explain it with words. I, re I really don't. The only way it's possible is through God. I, uh, <laughs> I really don't know how to explain it other than he's grabbed a hold of my heart and I hope he doesn't let go.